Welcome to the Frank L. Weinberg Library Media Lab training videos. Today we'll be working on digitizing your Super 8 film. For this, you'll need the reel or reels you'd like to digitize, as well as a USB drive, also known as a flash drive. First, plug the Super 8mm Bell and Howell projector into the black surge protector in the middle of the projection table. You will hear the projector start to hum, and the projection lamp on top of the projector will turn on. Make sure the large black control dial on the front of the projector is set to stop. Next, press the power button on the handheld camera, which is sitting to the right of the projector. The power button is located on the top left side of the camera. Finally, press the power button on the Station 2 computer tower. This is the small black Think Center box between the computer monitor and the scanner. Please note that the projector, camera, and film transfer screen have been positioned for optimal digitization. Do not move them. If you must make adjustments, adjust the camera, not the projector or the transfer screen. If you need assistance, ask a librarian. Attach your film reel to the right-hand spindle so that the film runs clockwise with the perforations facing you. Make sure the reel is snugly attached to the spindle by pushing it inward until you feel it click into place. Now, turn the control dial one place to the right to the threading position. This position is represented by an arrow. Press the orange button on top of the projector, which is labeled Push. The button will click into place. To the right of the push button is a feeder path marked by an orange arrow. Gently feed the end of your film into this path, making sure not to twist the film. The white roller will grip the film and pull it into the machine. After a moment, you will see your film emerge on the left side of the projector. It should automatically loop up and over the take-up reel. When this happens, turn the projector's control dial back to stop to pause the film. If your film does not automatically attach to the take-up reel, switch the control dial to stop. Pick up the loose stretch of film that has emerged underneath the take-up reel. Guide the end of the film to the take-up reel center hub and hold it there with your index finger. Now, turn the take-up reel clockwise. The film will grip the take-up reel and loop around it. Continue turning the take-up reel until the film is flush to the hub and stretched taut from the reel into the machine. If done correctly, then turning the control dial on the projector back to threading will cause the take-up reel to turn with the film reel. If you have trouble with this, ask a librarian for help. Now, either way, you're ready to move on. Check the camera's position relative to the transfer screen. Make sure that the camera is capturing the entire projected image. You can zoom in and out on the camera by toggling the switch on top of it. Toggling to the left will zoom out and to the right will zoom in. Ideally, you'll want to zoom out far enough that the camera captures the whole projection, plus a black border around it. That way you can ensure that you aren't cutting off any edges. When you're satisfied, press the red record button on the back of the camera to start recording. Turn the projector's control dial two places to the right, to the project symbol. Your film will begin to play. You'll see it projected on both the film transfer screen and the camera's preview screen. To adjust the focus, turn the silver focus dial, which is to the left of the projector lens. To adjust the frame, turn the frame dial near the bottom of the projector, above the orange record tab. Continue recording until you've reached the end of your reel or until you've reached the end of what you'd like to digitize. If your film unspools from its original reel onto the take-up reel at the end of your recording, ask a librarian for help. Do not attempt to re-spool the reel yourself or feed it backward through the projector. When you reach the end of what you'd like to record, press the record button on the camera again. Then, turn the control dial on the projector back to stop. You have two options to rewind your film. You can rewind the film with the projection lamp off so that you don't have to watch it play backwards on the film transfer screen. To do this, turn the control dial one place to the left, 
to the backwards arrow that represents rewind. You can also rewind the film with the projection lamp turned on so that you can watch your film backwards as it rewinds. To do this, turn the control dial two places to the left, to the project symbol. In either setting, your film will automatically retract from the projector once it's finished rewinding. When that happens, turn the control dial back to stop. Gently pull on your reel to detach it from the spindle. Unplug the projector from the black surge protector. Now you'll need to unplug the camera. The camera is attached to a charger in the black surge protector via a USB cable. Unplug the USB cable from the charger. Carry the camera and its attached USB cable over to the Station 2 computer. Plug the camera into the computer's bottommost USB port, which is labeled 2. Then go to the computer desktop. On the left-hand side of the desktop, double-click on this PC shortcut. Here you'll see the video camera listed. Double-click on it to open it. Double-click on Video and then 100 Video to see the video saved on the camera. Your video will be named HDV followed by a four-digit number. If you'd like to watch your video again, double-click on it to open it in Windows Media Player. When you're done watching, click the X in the top right-hand corner to close it. Now you'll need to move your video onto your flash drive. Go ahead and plug your flash drive into the computer. When that's done, click and drag the camera window to the right side of your screen. Then, double-click this PC shortcut again. Under Devices and Drives, you'll now see your USB drive listed. Double-click on it to open it. Now you have your flash drive open in one window and the camera open in another. Right-click on your video in the camera and select Cut. Then, right-click in the white space in your flash drive window and select Paste. Now your video has been moved from the camera into your flash drive. Click the X in the top right-hand corner of the flash drive window to close it. Now you can safely remove your flash drive from the computer. Turn off the camera and unplug it from the computer. Plug it back in on the projection table. Finally, turn off the computer and you're done.